Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at this, which is the J Rocket FX Clockwork Delay Pedal. Now, if you've seen some of our videos, you might know that I'm a bit of a fan of the old Electro Harmonics Deluxe Memory Man. The thing about the old Deluxe Memory Man pedals is that one, they're not incredibly reliable, and nowadays they'll cost you an absolute fortune because they don't really make them in the same way as they used to. So along comes J Rocket and they bring out the clockwork pedal. This is designed by the same guy that originally designed the original Memory Man. So it's basically the same circuit inside and it's a bucket brigade delay. So it's all analog apart from the tap tempo function which the original Memory Man didn't have. The reason why I love the Memory Man pedal so much is because it had one, a really great sounding preamp in it, and two, it had modulation built into the delay. So on the trails of the delays, they chorus and modulated in a really, really nice way. And this pedal does exactly the same thing. First of all, let me switch off the actual delay and the modulation there. So we're not hearing any of the delay part of this circuit. Now, if I bring back the level control, this has got an always on preamp, so the sound of my guitar going straight into the amp sounds like this. Now, even though the pedal switched off, what I can do is to drive my amp till I get the right tone out of it. So not only is this a great sound delay, but you've also got this really fantastic sounding preamp, which you can use as an always on boost. So let's bring it back to sensible levels. One of the problems with the old Memory Man delay circuits were that when you brought in the delay section, the gain sort of dropped on the pedal. Now this does do it a little bit, but not as much as the old Memory Man pedal. So here's the sound with the pedal switched off. And if I bring in. So you still do get a drop, but not as much as the old Electro Harmonics Memory Man pedal. So if I turn up the delay time, Now, apparently this pedal goes from 0 to 600 milliseconds, so you're not gonna get any of those ultra long digital delays, but that's not really what this pedal is. But for me, I don't think I'd ever use anything more than a 600 millisecond delay. My delays, I tend to sort of stick around 400 milliseconds. <laughs> Again, as I mentioned earlier, you've got this tap tempo function, so that will defeat what's going on with the delay time. And you can set it just by tapping this button here. And because it's a proper analog delay, you can get some really nice sort of feedback functions by turning up the repeats.
so that's what the actual delay section does now with the modulation this is modulating the trails or the repeats of the delay so if I switch that in So you can get these real lush sounding delays which add a lot of texture to your guitar sound. Now, unfortunately, because of the sort of circuit that this is, you're not really going to get uh, presets built into this guitar pedal. So the sound is basically, as you turn it on, it's as it is. You're not going to get like one preset being less delay, one preset being more delay and, and you know, setting all of your delay times. So even though you don't get that sort of functionality, it's still quite useful. If you bring back the delay level, And then if I bring in some gain, the delays fit really nicely, even with overdriven sound. So if I turn up the actual level, And because it's a really nice sounding analog delay, those delay repeats don't really get in the way of your original guitar tone. Now, last of all, which I think is a really good feature, if I set my delay time like this. So I'm guessing we're roughly about sort of 300 milliseconds. If I hold down my tap tempo button, it actually does go into like a preset mode where it's setting the delay time to a slap delay. So if I bring back the mix just a little bit. This pedal does sound absolutely fantastic, but there is a downside to this pedal and that's the price. Now, if you go and buy, say like a Boss Wazza Craft Analog Delay, it's gonna cost you about 150 pounds. But these pedals here, they cost about 400. But if you go and buy a Memory Man, it will cost you at least double that and it's not gonna be as reliable. So if you're looking for that specific Memory Man type of tone, this really is the only pedal that's gonna do it in a really authentic way. Anyway, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from The Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.